Here comes my flick the wick if my tracking number's right today. He's scanning something. Ooh, I got something else too. Ooh, a couple things. Looks like he's coming out. Wow, he just gave me five packages, and UPS is out for delivery today with two, I think, so this is a huge book mail day for me. Let's take a look. This packaging from Bruno Zazzo is so cute. This is an Etsy shop, and it ships from Italy. So cute. I don't even want to open this. We have cute little onigiri earrings. They were just so cute I couldn't resist them. Ariel and Flounder as earrings. It was a matching pair, and they also sell these on their own. These are made of clay. Another matching pair, Maleficent and Sleeping Beauty. This is, might be my favorite in the set. And an onigiri necklace to match my earrings. So much cute, I can't handle it. My Barnes & Noble pre-order of Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, which I forgot that I pre-ordered this. Autographed. I ordered the Fox and Wit, so I may return this now or see if someone wants it. We'll see. The Perfect Candidate by Peter Stone. This comes out October 2nd from Simon & Schuster. I have not ever heard of this. Let me know if you have. And Welcome to the Future by not Elon Musk. This comes out October 2nd from Grand Central Publishing. Welcome to the Future, which is mine. This is definitely something to look at in a little more detail later. This is another one I have not heard of before now. And it is a parody. So normally when I do an unboxing, I don't put a big book haul into it at the same time, especially since I'll have a haul at the end of the month. I actually thought that I was done getting books for the month, so I filmed my haul for September, and these technically count, but they'll be in my October haul, so this way you at least get to see them now. But since I mentioned that UPS was coming when I was filming The Mailman for Flick the Wick, and he brought a ton of stuff, I'm just going to show you these super fast. Small Spaces by Katherine Arden just arrived. She is the author of the adult fantasy series The Bear and the Nightingale, which I have read, and it is a trilogy, and the final book is coming out in either December or January, so... It is The Bear and the Nightingale and The Girl in the Tower so far. So it says its on sale date was this past week on the 25th and it is from Penguin. And here is a quick look at the summary. And the cover is super creepy. I really love it. It's by Matt Saunders. I really like his cover art. And this one is super exciting. It's from Disney Hyperion. It's coming out January 15th. It is Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. It is the next series that's debuting under the Rick Riordan Presents umbrella. And it is Korean mythology and it's sci-fi. And it is Korean mythology and it's sci-fi so it takes place in space and I am so excited for this. It has fox spirits which I love foxes. Fox spirits are big in Japan as well. Kitsune spirits are big. And there are fox shrines, and I love foxes. They're one of my favorite animals, and I am so excited for this book. Oh, look at the fox. I don't know if I've noticed that before on the cover. That's one reason I love seeing books in person, because sometimes when you're looking through the computer screen, you just don't see everything. I actually just reviewed the Storm Runner yesterday or the day before, and that is first in a series based on Mayan mythology. And earlier this year, I read and reviewed Arishal and the End of Time, which I will also link to below. And it is one of my favorite kids' books of the entire year, behind only Willa of the Wood. I'm so excited to read this one. So thank you so much to Disney. This just completely made my weekend. But here's the main event. This is what I knew was coming in the mail. And this is the gorgeous cover. This is the Sarah J. Mass September box from Flick the Wick. There's always a quote on the bottom of the box. This one states, Sometimes the wicked will tell us things just to confuse us, to haunt our thoughts long after we face them. And in the box, this is how it looks. It's always packaged so beautifully until I destroy it like this. You've got floof. It's always so pretty. 
This is how it looks at a glance. So we see the trio of candles on top as well as the jar candle. So we always know there are four candles and it's usually three and one. So that's not a surprise, only what they are. Our trio is all Throne of Glass theme. I can't remember if this box is just Throne of Glass or if it's the Court series too. Last week I got my Nerdy Post, which was Everything by Sarah J Mass, which I only just uploaded today. So I haven't had time all week. Manon is blood orange, clover, and persimmon, and aloe, and ivy. It's not a super strong scent. Oh, and it says 13 underneath. That's awesome. Sam's candle is called the assassin. It's blueberries, musk, thyme, and bergamot. The berry is the strongest smell. It's actually pretty nice. Also mild. Rowan is the cadre. It is cypress, cedarwood, pine, moss, and lemon. It is very strong on the pine. And then our big candle says Queen of Tarasan. It is citrus, succulent vanilla, nectar. It's a really interesting shade of green. It definitely has some citrus to it. It's actually a very refreshing smell. I like it a lot. I am glad that this is the biggest one actually because I'll definitely burn this one. I might burn the others too. They're just mild so unless they're, you know, they have a heavier smell when they're burning. They may not smell like a lot but this one's gonna have a really nice smell through the house when it burns. Here's our next peak before I move the camera. All right, the first thing we have is, is this another candle? It is Solid Perfume Kingdom of Ash. I'm not sure what the smell is. It's also very mild. Next, we have a pin. It's from Dreamy & Co. It's got this nice vibrant yellow behind it. This is Terrison, and ooh, this is going to look really nice with my Starfall pin that just came in my Nerdy Post. They're going to look really nice together because they're both scenery and have rays of light like that. And we have a magnet, also with really lovely artwork. Next we have, ooh, something in a really pretty package. Next we have this lovely set of trading cards or mini prints. And here's how they look on the back. And next we have, oh, I think this is, hold on. I'm not gonna turn this over because it's the spoiler card, but this is your print on this side. A double-sided bookmark that says, I can survive well enough on my own if given the proper reading material, which is the same quote the Nerdy Post just used on something. I'll definitely link to that video at the end of this one. I just finished re-watching it as I edited it and uploaded it this morning. And on the reverse side, it says her journey began with a blade. Her destiny will end with a crown. It's very pretty. Nice, strong, heavy weight to it. And everything's been coming in plastic paper, which makes it nice. So if the candles break or something leaks, it makes it easier to protect. Plus that way they don't get messed up. So that's something really nice that most boxes don't do that I really like about this one. I just haven't been showing it to you every time because it takes more time in the video itself. Here's the notebook. She was the heir of ash and fire and she would bow to no one. It's so pretty and I love the arrow running through the word fire. Ooh, I was not expecting to be anything except blank pages. Look at this. Ah, and at the bottom, it says you could rattle the stars, which if you don't know the series, that is like one of the biggest catchphrases for the entire series. I have a necklace that says that. This is so cool. Ah, oh, that's such a nice little surprise. I thought it was just going to be lined paper on the inside. It's going to make me not want to use it or just save it to use for something really special. And the last thing in the box looks like a tapestry. All right, this is a truly beautiful tapestry. We have Terrasen down here at the bottom. The coloring is gorgeous. In the moon, it says SJ Mass. And it says, even when this world is a forgotten whisper of dust between the stars, I will always love you. And that is just stunning. That is gorgeous. I only have a couple of tapestries granted. I think I have three now, one from Owl Crate, one from Enchanted Book Box, and then this one. This is by far my favorite. It's so intricate, so detailed. I am absolutely obsessed with this. So here's the spoiler card. You have your candles, you have your wall tapestry by Evie Bookish, which is who I thought that was. Sometimes I get her and Stella Bookish art confused because they can be a little similar, but I did think it was Evie and I'm glad I was right with that. The pin and the bookmarker are both by Dreamy & Co. The character cards are by Art by Emmeline. And then you have the perfume. The magnet is by Louina Art. The notebook is by Stella's Bookish Art. So we had both of them in this box. And I'm pretty sure I have another notebook by her that I received recently. So I want to see how they match up together. It might be a nice set. And our print is by Gabriella Bujoso. 
So here is everything that came in the September Flick the Wick. As always, you get the beautiful keepsake box, three mini candles, a jar candle, a double-sided bookmark, solid perfume and enamel pin, a notebook, a print that doubles as the spoiler card, and eight trading character cards. There everything is again. And one last look at this beautiful tapestry. I say it every month, but I always think Flick the Wick is super high quality, and I'm always very happy to get their boxes. I got them as a one-time box in May, and I wound up getting it in June, July, August, and now September. I am skipping October and November because I have not read those series. October is the Illuminae Files, and I think it's sold out. And the November box for Cassandra Clare is about to go on sale for the Shadow Hunters for November, so you still have a chance to get that. But I've been very happy with every single box. I think the quality is high, the items are usable, and I really love them a lot. So if you're looking for a good box that has candles, that has bookish merchandise, that has a fandom you like that you can use on Instagram, this is definitely the box to get, and it always has such great stuff in it. So that is everything from me today. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!